Good, and you divide an extra hundred dollar. Who are you, Khrushchev? Told <laughs> Johnson. You told Johnson? Why? Did he get, uh, get angry at him? <laughs> no, uh, that's the sweetest name. Tor Johnson is the sweetest name. Oh, Tor Johnson, you mean, huh? Yes, sir. I can't say Johnson. <laughs> Just for the record, uh, uh, what's your gross tonnage? Uh, it's about 387 pounds. Is that strip for Jim? That's fucking wet. <laughs> What are the rest of your dimensions, Tor? Personally, I'm not interested, but you... You may be an old boxcar that the Union Pacific Railroad is looking for. <laughs> my hips are 60, my uh, stomach waistline is 54, and the chest is 62, my bicep is 22, and the neck is 20. We have the same measurements. <laughs> His chest and my automobile. <laughs> Now, let me get this straight. You're 62, 54, 60? That's right. All right, I don't understand. With those measurements, you ought to be twice as attractive as, as Jane Mansfield. <laughs> but for some peculiar reason, you're not. Not to me, anyhow. Now, you say uh, you're Japanese, Tor? No, I'm Swedish. Oh, well, what part of Japan are you from? <laughs> Stockholm. Stockholm is in Japan? Stockholm is in, in Sweden. Not in Japan. You mean, uh, well, who say, you said that uh, uh, Stockholm was in Japan. You said Stockholm was in Japan. <laughs> I said Stockholm was in Japan? Really, I always thought it was in Sweden. <laughs> well, you learn something every day. Except today. <laughs> and uh, you, let's see, uh, you're Stella Dallas, huh? No, I'm Tessa Damascus. You're Stella Damascus? Casa. Uh, casa? Mm -hmm. What kind of a name is that? I've never heard it of is Greek name. Huh? It is Greek name. You, a Greek name? Mm -hmm. oh. It is abbreviation of Anastasia, and Damascus is Greek name. Oh. Well, are you from Stockholm? <laughs> no, I am from Greece. I'm from Sparta. Oh. This is where the great warriors came from. Why, cool. Nick the Greek? <laughs> No, he's in Las Vegas. Oh, you gotta be a warrior to be there. Why did you come to the U.S.? Were you looking for a shorter route to India? No, I always wanted to come to the United States since I was a little girl. Now, you're still a little girl. Well... You're my little girl. Oh. <laughs> well, I suppose the movies have impressed me. The movies? Yes. Any particular movies impressed you? Well, wanted you to come to this country? I used to like gangster movies and... Tarzan and Tarzan? The, the Marx Brothers. The Marx Brothers. And that's what brought you to America. <laughs> it was those last pictures you named that once caused me to leave America. <laughs> well, it is good, uh, good uh, taste and color. There is no discussion. It is a French expression. There is no discussion? There is no discussion in, in taste and color. Oh. I don't understand what that means, but it sounds imposing. <laughs> what kind of work do you do for a living, Tor? Are you a manicurist? Uh, no, sir. I've um, uh, been wrestling for the last 25 years. Do you have some kind of an unbelievable name for your wrestling act, such as the world's largest midget or something? <laughs> yes, they call me uh, the super sweetest angel. Angel? Yeah. You'll never get off the ground. <laughs> By the way, how did you lose your hair? Did you accidentally see yourself in the mirror one day? No, I shave it. When you get five o'clock shadow, you just put your hat on, is that it? <laughs> Why do you shave the top of your skull? Well, I, uh, give me a break in the, in the pictures. You're in the movies, you mean? You play romantic parts? <laughs> no, I play the... Are you, you're not Yul Brunner, huh? The king size, Yul Brunner. King size. <laughs> what sort of romantic... Uh, what sort of romantic dashing figures do you portray on the silver screen? Uh, That's what we call it here, the silver screen. Yes, I love Did that you know name. That? Isn't, no. that, isn't that lovely? It is lovely. That's what they call it. The picture's good. Oh. You should hear what I called one the other night. Oh. <laughs> That I paid two bucks to see. <laughs> now, what kind of parts do you play, Tor? I played a monster in the... You played a mouse? Yes. A mouse? Monster. A monster. monster. <laughs> you mean this 
was a horror picture? Yes, sir, that's all the horror. I've made some horror pictures. They weren't meant that way. They just turned out to be horror. <laughs> but what are some of the uh, memorable pictures that you've uh, acted in? Well, uh, The Revenge of the Dead was the last one. The Romance of the Dead? Yes. Was it a comedy, huh? <laughs> Are you, are you married, Tor? Yes, I am. How long have you been married? Uh, about 33 years. Uh -huh. That's a long time. Uh, are, you, are you happily married? Very happy. Uh -huh. You like your wife? Yes, sir. Is she uh, Japanese? <laughs> yes, sir, from Stockholm, Sweden. <laughs> Is she a, a large party like you? Uh, she's uh, five feet two inches tall. <laughs> Well, that's nice, I think. How much does she weigh? Under 95 pounds. <laughs> five feet two and she weighs 190? She must be five feet two in any direction. <laughs> Stasia, we haven't discussed your love life yet. Are you married? No, I am not married. Well, why not? There must be something wrong, an attractive girl like you. Don't they, how does a fellow propose in Greece? What does he say? Oh, ça va pour pas la folie. Ici, il copie la tonne à Et si on appelle un appel de fleur, si on appelle à Sol, il dit que vous m'avez dit ça. No wonder you're not married. <laughs> That's the way he talks. How can you tell what he's saying? <laughs> I can. What kind of a wife would you make, Stas? I may be able to assist you in nailing a sucker. Uh, oh. I mean, a, a bridegroom. Oh. I am very bad cook. <laughs> yes, I want to ask you a rather personal question. Has your father got a lot of money? He did. Mm -hmm. In the past tense, huh? Yes. How do you feel about wrestling, uh, Stas? Wrestling? Oh, I don't like sports. You don't like sports. You don't have to get personal, you know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't like sports? Don't you like any sports? Oh, I like America very much. Only I don't like uh, football and I don't like baseball. You don't like baseball? No. You could get thrown off the air with an inflammatory speech like that. You, know. <laughs> you can say you don't like football or basketball or even bananas. Uh. Or even tapioca pudding. <laughs> but anybody who publicly announces they dislike baseball, well, they, they just won't get any gasoline ration stamps in the next war. It is a sin not to like baseball? It's a sin not to like baseball. Do you think right. she's cute, Tor? Very cute. Would you like to take her out some evening when you get through wrestling? <laughs> I got the answer. I got the message. <laughs> I'm going to tell your wife on you. Now, in these little one-act plays that you uh, perform in the ring, are you generally the villain or the hero? I'm the villain. You're the villain. The right? people, they hit me. They hit you. Well, why are you the villain, you fine-looking lad? I scare them all the time. You do? You, you couldn't scare a fly, I don't think. swallowed my cigar. Do oh, you like cigars? No, no, I was thinking that you like cigars because I remember when I was a little girl, you always had cigars in your film. I saw your films. A film, huh? Do you like men who smoke cigars? Yes, I like men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you're a charming and cute couple and uh, mm -hmm. certainly perfectly suited to each other. <laughs> I know you're going to be very happy together. Yeah. Now let's see if you can make some money. Yeah. George, would you explain the game to him? I'm weary of the whole thing. Hi, Riley. Now this box contains three sets of questions. 100 easiest, 200 harder, 300 hardest. Now your job is to earn at least $500 with four questions. If you do, you'll uh, get a chance at $10,000 at the end of the show. Now you selected uh, you uh, mythology. Oh, yes. Now yes. that's it. You're the girl, so you pick the first one. All right. There's a lot of money here at stake. Uh, do you know anything about mythology? 
Well, I have a general knowledge about it. It mm -hmm. is not specific, mm -hmm. but I would do my best. I'm sure you will. You've got every confidence. Now, what about you, Tor? Do you know anything about mythology? Uh, very little. Very little. Is there anything you know much about, uh, Tor? Uh, Don't make that face again. Is there, let me, did you come down here alone? Well, I got my uh, little son out there somewhere. Well, the uh, would you like him to come up and help you? Would yes, you? I would like What's to. his name? Is his uh, name Tor, too? Uh, yes, sir. Tor? Carl Tor. Carl Tor, huh? Janssen. Carl Tor Janssen. Uh, where are you, Carl Tor Janssen? <laughs> you know your father, huh? That wasn't quite before. Yeah. Mr. Grudge. How do you do? How do you do? It's Mr. Phantom. Carl, yeah, nice. And uh, this is uh, Tassa. Stassa. Stassa. Are you married, uh, Junior? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, well, that's it's a shame, too. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, he's just like his old man. <laughs> uh, what do you do for a living, uh, Junior? I'm a detective sergeant with the San Fernando Police Department. Well, goodbye, boys. <laughs> Okay, Stash, you start in. Well, they've already selected a $200 question, Groucho. They have, huh? Who is the son of Jupiter who killed Medusa? <laughs> Diaz? Huh? Diaz? No, you're close. You want to take a look at it? Tor. Persis. Persis. Well, you're not out of the Perseus. game at all yet. Uh, you have three Perseus? more chances. You say Perseus or Perseus? Perseus. Perseus. Huh? Well, Perseus later, and we'll see what we can do about it. <laughs> you have three more chances to make $500. Go on, now, one of you pick one. What? This is a $300 one. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of the Teutonic God after whom we named Wednesday? Yes, Metro. No, it's, it's Woden, W-O-D-E-N. And in Norse mythology, it's Odin. You should have known that because you were from Japan. I was going to say that. Yeah, well, why didn't you? I learned that in school. Yeah. <laughs> you have two more chances. Uh, don't give up yet. Come on, now, don't lose these. You do realize the 300 are the hardest. Mm -hmm. For 300 dollars, who is the sorceress who changed Ulysses' men into swine? Skila ki harivde. Huh? Skila ki harivde. Harivde. No, it's Skila. Sissi. C-I-R-C-E. Skila. Skila. Huh? I said Skila. Yeah. She was between Skila and Shavadis, yes. That is not Sissi. Pick another one. Uh, $200 this time, huh? You'll get to keep all you win. <laughs> who was the nymph who pined away just to just a voice? Who was the nymph who pined away to just a voice? She was a nymph to begin with, and then there was nothing left but a voice. Can you imagine if he hadn't come up here? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're tough. These are tough. You, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't know these. The answer was echo. Unfortunately, you uh, didn't earn enough to get back and uh, try for the 10000 However, Groucho has something for you, I'm sure. Well, yes, we're going to give you one chance to win $100. No, no coaching, please. It's a tough one. <laughs> what kind of fruit do you always find in a cherry pie? <laughs> Bananas, that's right. You know, you get 50 apiece. 50, 50, and 50. We usually only give 100, but coming up, we have it. Sorry, didn't win more, but that's